show you my finishes for the month of March. It is very windy out here today, so we are going to have to deal with that. So I ask that you pardon the quilts flapping in the wind. So for my first video, I actually took some video and I am just going to insert it here. It's a quilt that I made for a customer and she's an aging quilter. She's in her 90s and she doesn't see very well. So she has me quilt her quilt, bind her quilt, and also make any repairs that are necessary. And I really like her coloring on this. It's very soothing. And I hope you enjoy it as well. Hi guys, it's T. I just wanted to come out and show you a quilt that I just, <laughs> it just blew down. So I'll put the picture up, but I wanted to show you a picture of the quilt that I just completed quilting for a customer. And I also cut the binding, sewed it, and then also sewed it onto the quilt. So she's going to actually do the hand sewing to the back. I'll show you one more quilt in this video that will be done on a different day, but I'll see you next time. The second customer quilt that I quilted is just a photo. I didn't take any video. It's a project from the Scrap Quilting Club. And of course, this quilt and the quilt before was also quilted on the butler. Matter of fact, all of these quilts that you're seeing are quilted on the butler. Next up, is I have my completed rail fence, my jelly roll rail fence quilt. And I did a video on this quilt. So if you are interested, I will put a link up at the eye above and you can go and make yourself one as well. I show you even how I did the borders. I talk about how I did the borders as well. So you actually get the entire quilt here if you want one just like it. The next quilt is one of my giant quilt blocks. I was going to do a lot more of these and then my schedule changed and this is the only one that I actually got done. So this quilt top is also uploaded on YouTube and you can go search for the giant quilt block. And let me see if I can get a name for you. On my YouTube channel, it's called Gloria Floral giant quilt and you'll find a video for this one as well and I'm going to go back through all of these quilts later and show you the close-up on the quilting it's so windy I just want to get it done but you can see this quilt here has polyester batting and it's one of those thicker ones but it's a different kind of polyester it's not that white normally really dense polyester and so I am at the same time also trying to use up stuff that's in my stash what I don't like about polyester is if you, when you do the binding, sometimes it doesn't hang very straight. So I still got one more piece to use and I also have another quilt on this show and tell to show you with that batting as well. So this quilt top here is called the Framed Nine Patch. And I also did a video on this. It's a pattern by Jan Ochterbeck. And she has written instructions on her blog. And in the video, I also link you to that. But I did mine just a tad different than she did. And the whole quilt has just now flipped over the banister. That's what kind of day we're having. But hopefully you got to see it. You can go back and rewind the video and pause it if you need to see it again. But very nice project there. 
It's called Strip Tease, and it also has that polyester batting in it, but this one hangs a tad straighter. And I found, when I do my binding, I like to press my binding to the back of the quilt when I'm gonna hand sew it to the back so that it has a memory on where it's going to lay. On this quilt, I did not do that. Over here on that quilt, you can see all the wavy because I actually heated that polyester bat. I'm not absolutely sure if when it's washed, if it will come back into the shaping or not. But over here, it's actually shaped out a whole lot better. So let's go ahead and get a close up of these quilts so we can end this video. <laughs> This quilt here, I've kind of already shown you. This one is kind of a star design, very difficult to see. And I'm trying to see if you can see it more on the back of the quilt maybe. It's a very pretty quilt design, I actually love it. So I'm hoping that you can see some of the star that's going on in there. It's kind of a spiral, but like octagonal in shape, and then it comes out into star points. Really love it. Also, I did a video on how to make striped fabric that's straight into bias binding. You might want to check that out. I'll also put that up on the eye above. This one here, I because I used that polyester bat, I wanted recessed areas where it would be puffy. Just let the batting do its work. And so I love the design on this panto. Not quite sure who in my family is going to get it yet, <laughs> but it will be a gift quilt. It's very pretty though. Love the quilting pattern. This pattern here, I actually used the nuts and bolts pattern from Urban Elements. It was actually a free download on their website to be on the other side of the deck <laughs> so yes yeah, so I'm holding it down on one side but I really like it and I don't think you can even see the quilting on the back I used blue thread and front and back all right next quilt here is the strip tease with the quilting I can't remember the panto names that I used on this one um, yeah but it has that same polyester bat I just used another kind of airy floral and just let it do its job most of the prints in this quilt are floral so I just thought that I would use a floral pattern to finish it off so that's gonna be it for this video I'll see you in my next video and thanks so much for watching thank you all so much for watching Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.